What is going down, Assassin's Creed fans? If you are brand new to the network, my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. And today we're going to be covering the update of 5.0.0 for most consoles, or the 1.4.0, the TU that will be rolling across for all platforms from about 5 to 25 gigabytes. If you're brand new, hit the subscription button in company with the notification bell and get excited as we scroll into what has changed in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As we see what is the technical portion is a lot of game improvements, tombs in the fallen, as well as support for the festival that airs in within the 11th going all the way to the December 2nd. You can see new skills and again on all platforms will vary. I noticed on my PlayStation 5 it rolled in around about like almost 6 to 7 gigs and then on my PlayStation 4 it rolled in about 18 gigs. So leave a comment down below on what you experienced, what system you're installing it on and how your experience has been with this ride to today if you've been since here, since the beginning. So, so we can go ahead and jump into a nice little celebration that they've been giving away on top of this. It's 35 of years within the portion of Ubisoft and they're giving away some swag. So if you make sure to sign in with your account, you can get some really cool Assassin's Creed style games. On top of them already introducing the brand new festival that is almost here. Yes, you're going to be given a lot more to explore in a spooky way throughout November going up towards that December month. So get ready for new quests and that on the horizon. There's going to be newer updates that are going to be rolled across and unlocked as we see more adventures. But what I was mentioning before is we have some pretty cool stuff for the fallen tombs that we can see. You can get into find some access. There's going to be a really cool like ways to like escape and try to survive as you explore more stuff along the way with Eivor and Valhalla. But on top of that giveaway, where I was saying before, if you click this link and enter inside of there, you can definitely be able to get access to these games that they're giving out, which is pretty cool. So I would definitely say add those to your library. This is something you can always sink your teeth into later on. But what we'll go ahead and sink our teeth into right over here is the patch notes. As we can see that the newer tombs are going to be coming down to in finer details. And you can definitely pull this up and see some more of the details that are going to be like inside of the more to digest throughout the coming days because as you can see that some of this content is going to be available between the 11th and the 2nd so make sure you are ready for these new skills as well as you can see that the perfect parry the master counter roll and the improved bow stun finisher uh, game improvements come into like a nice little chunk of gameplay which i personally myself i'm starting to dig that it's not like a huge list it's something that's more refined but definitely leave a, a comment down below of what your experience today i'd love to hear what you have to show in the community members as you can see it goes down from anywhere of the axe heads to npc quests beneath inside of of the situation to river raids so definitely drink that in to see what you can see is a fixable element in your gameplay today or was something that was destroyed of yesterday gameplay inside of there they have addressed some battle cries down to the players can toggle walk and run during the auto movements so there's a big chunk of changes inside of there even down to the playstation 5 after having some issues after a certain update. Now, what we can see for UI and HUD comes down to even a smaller list, which is a nice one. They've made some level scaling inside of those options that correct the values in the river rates. Graphics, animations, and audio also come down to some numerous textures, animations, and lighting. And you can see that the world point also comes down to we're misplacing floating objects which i have noticed throughout the gameplay myself it's very interesting but you know hey sometimes rome wasn't built overnight right and in the instance of the avar and npc or the long ship that would get stuck which was always a difficult pattern the long ship itself seemed like it needed some tuning so very excited to get back out to that straight and finish this game and see some future content roll across but on top of that they improve performance and stability as we can see 
more has rolled across for the Assassin's Creed series in Valhalla. And with that, I'll bid you guys and gals adieu. Stay safe and stay classy. If you're newer to the network, definitely subscribe and check out this really cool game that I stumbled upon if you're into future NFTs and what they can possibly be for some cool game tokens throughout the future. I guess uh, blockchain gaming like evolution, which I kind of see as kind of an interesting thing. So I kind of like dabbled inside of this really cool free to play game and I'm going to have a link down below you can check out with that video and definitely see if you can catch some cool NFTs which are free right now. There's still a lot in the sea. I've gotten a lot just by the day to day basis. And it's a nice little thing, honestly. And it's a nice casual screensaver. I like it. It's very soothing. I have so many fish. But I will see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy. And if you're new to the network, definitely hit that subscription button. It very well helps myself and the channel grow as well as YouTube to see where we can go later down the uh, future tunnels of statistics which I love seeing like we're like we're doing so like community members I totally am so excited to see where we go this holiday season as I already see the early peak of this channel like starting to bloom like we're, we're gonna get to 10k I already know it <laughs> it's gonna be amazing so if you are a part of the early adoption of this channel cheers I smash your like button right back at you so stay safe have a tremendous amount of luck and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.